After the Olympic trials in 2000, I get a phone call from Vin Lanana, who was coaching at Stanford University and also had the Nike farm team coached by Jeff Johnson. And I guess Jeff was retiring then or going to retire. And Vin asked me if I would be interested to move to Palo Alto, California and uh, coach the Nike farm team. So I go home, talk to Robbie about it. He says, what are you kidding me? We're going to move to California? I said, well, it's going to be a great opportunity with great weather, facilities and so forth. And I, I think, you know, it would be great for you and I to move to Palo Alto and then give it a shot and spend a few years in, on Cal in California. So we decided that uh, I would go out first and then she would follow me about a month later and come out. Well, I landed and it was sad because word got out that the World Trade Center was bombed, 9-11. Two buildings collapsed, et cetera, et cetera. Very scary because one of our sons, David, was right across the street of one building. He saw it all. He got out. Our other son was downtown more, Ralph. He saw it all and so forth. And I'm out in California. Robbie's out in Fairfax, Virginia. But we found out that our sons were safe. But we lost so many people. And being in California was a shocker. And many, many times I've wished that that time I would be home, I had been home but life moves on. So Vin brought me out, coach a great group of men and women out in Palo Alto, California. The Nike farm team at the time was the biggest pro running club in the United States. It had great athletes from all over the country that came to Palo Alto with the goal of becoming the best runner they could be. When you were coached by Gags, you became part of the family and the farm team was just that a family of runners living and training together. As one can expect, success came very quickly. Jason Lund would win three USA championships, an indoor mile title in 2002, and in 2003, he would solidify himself as the best middle distance runner in the United States. He won an indoor mile title and followed it up with the outdoor 1500 meter title as well. He would race in the world championships four times, with his best finish putting him as the 10th fastest man in the world. Lund got the ball rolling for the farm team in international competitions, and in 2004, the team would have two Olympians, Jonathan Riley and Nicole Teeter. Well, Jonathan um, Riley, when I got to Palo Alto, I still think he was running for um, Stanford, and uh, he joined the Nike farm team really trained hard and trained well. It wasn't a pick to the top three to make our team, but he had a tremendous wallop at the end, no matter what race he ran. And I think he, he made the team off of a 13-20 uh, and ten, finished in the top three. The 2004 USA Olympic trials in the 5,000 meters saw Jonathan Riley finish second. And just like Gag said, he had a tremendous kick to punch his ticket to Athens. It was also an interesting situation that year at the trials because Balada Asmaram, who was also running with the farm team, finished third in the same race, but he did not have the Olympic standard and thus did not qualify for the Olympic Games. Nicole Tita came in in 2001, a great worker, tremendous worker, a fantastic competitor, and uh, she made our Olympic team in 2004 
Nicole Teeter ran a tremendous race in the 800 meter final at the Olympic trials that year. She finished second, sandwiched between two all-time great runners in Gerald Miles Clark and Hazel Clark. At the Olympics, Teeter would go on to just miss the finals in a very, very tight heat by less than a second. It was a very, very exciting five years to get these, the group of men and women to come out to Palo Alto, California. I really appreciated the five years that my wife and I spent in Palo Alto. In 2006, Gags would say farewell to the farm team. That group came at a special time in our sports history. It helped so many athletes continue to grow their running careers, as well as the culture of the sport. Gags would have another tremendous opportunity to continue coaching men and women at the professional level, and he was even staying on the West Coast. Yeah, I was in uh, Palo Alto, California from 2001 to 2006, and uh, Vin called me in and asked me if I would come up with him since he was now the head coach at the University of Oregon and come up to Eugene and start the Oregon Track Club, OTC. We wound up in Eugene, Oregon to start the Oregon Track Club. Another, another fantastic club. Just wonderful, wonderful. Track club. I brought a young man up, Mark Rinker, and he came up with me, and uh, we put together this team, and it was a great, great group of men and women. Tremendous. When Gags came to Eugene for the Oregon Track Club, he was building an elite aspect of the club. The goal was to get athletes to make national teams and compete at the highest level at their respective events. Gags did just that in 2008. He had three athletes qualify for the Beijing Olympics. Nicole Teeter, 800 meters, Nick Simmons, and Christian Smith, both in the 800 meters as well. The highlight was 800 meters. Simmons, Christian Smith, Christian, I think was ranked 33rd, but we had one, they had one dropout and Christian got in the race ranked 32nd. Both Nick Simmons and Christian Smith made their way to the finals with an elite field of eight great runners. All eight of these men had a shot to win and punch their ticket to Beijing. That stayed true with about 200 meters to go. It was anyone's race. Coming off the turn, the Bowerman statue right there, we used to practice and say, anytime you get to the Bowerman statue, you got to change gears. Coming off that final turn, both men listened to their coach. Simmons unleashes a powerful kick to not only take the lead, but pull away from the entire group. Don't forget about Christian Smith on the inside. You can see us fighting for his life and giving it everything he has all the way to the line. Unbelievable race. You know, and it, it, that race will never leave me because of Christian diving at the tape, making our Olympic team, of Simmons running the race of his life. Both men ran in Beijing. Nick Simmons narrowly missed making the finals that year and would continue to have a successful career running the 800 meters. But the legacy of the Oregon sweep and Christian Smith diving across the line makes this race something special, a race to be remembered for a very long time. But there are other people who have done a wonderful job in the three years that I stayed, 2006 to 2009. And the reason I left was because our daughter-in-law was very ill and our son asked me and my wife to come home and help him raise his two daughters, four and six, uh, because their mom was very ill and she passed away in 
2009 and my wife and I are still here helping. But let's get back to the team. After Gags left in 2009, the Oregon Track Club continued to have success thanks to the building blocks Gags had put in. Although he wasn't able to be there long, he was able to start something great, and he left it in a place where it could continue to prosper for many years. Next, you will see a list of athletes and their times from both the Nike Farm Team as well as the Oregon Track Club while Gags was coaching. 